Okay, so in this video is our final video on perpendicular distance. So sometimes we could be asked, we could be given a line and we could be asked to find the equations of two parallel lines that are a certain distance away from this line. So for example here, so the black line would be my original line and then I could be asked to say find the equation of parallel lines that are distance three from this line. So the special property about parallel lines is so they never meet, they never intersect, therefore the distance between parallel lines is the same all the way down, right, as uh, you go. So no matter where I go, it the distance will always be the same between them. So how do I find the lines of parallel lines um, <clears throat> when I'm given a line and the perpendicular distance. So first of all, we need to find a point on this parallel line, any point whatsoever. We then, we write down the general form of a parallel line. So remember, so we keep A and B the same. So we keep AX and BY the same. But my constant term just has to be different because remember, my slope is the same. So, because they're, they're parallel. So if the slope is the same, therefore these two terms have to be the same and then the last one is different. We then label all the variables for the relevant formula and then we solve for k. So let's look at this example here. So find the equation of a line to our parallel to 4x plus 3y plus 1 equals 0 and two units from it. So first of all, we need to find the general equation of a parallel line, which is 4x plus 3y plus k. So remember, we keep these two terms. We have to change the last term here because it's parallel. We want to solve for k. So to use the formula, we need to have a line and a point. So we have our line here. We need to find a point. To find a point on this line, 4x plus 3y plus 1 equals 0, we're going to let like y equal 0 and solve for x. We can let x equal 0 and solve for y. It doesn't really matter. So I'm letting y equal 0 here. So 4 times x plus 3 times 0 plus 1 equals 0. So that's going to be 4x plus 1 equals 0 x is going to equal to minus one quarter. So a point on this line is minus one quarter, zero. So now I know that the distance from this point to this parallel line is going to be two. So I know two is equal to the absolute value of four times minus a quarter plus three times zero plus k all over this absolute value of 4 squared plus 3 squared. So I have 2 is equal to the absolute value of minus 1 plus k all over the square root of 16 plus 9. That's going to be 2 is equal to the absolute value of k minus 1 all over 16 plus 9 is 25. The square root of 25 is 5. So I'm going to have here 10 is equal to k minus 1. Therefore, k minus 1 is going to equal to positive 10, k minus 1 is going to equal to minus 10, k is going to equal to 11, and then k is going to equal to minus 9. So therefore, I have my two values of k, therefore, I have the information now to write my two equations of parallel lines. So equation 1 is just going to be 4x plus 3y plus 11 equals 0. And equation 2 is going to be 4x plus 3y minus 9 equals 0. And that is my two equations there. Right. So let's look at some questions here. So find the equations of the lines which are parallel to 3x minus 2y plus 5 and 3 units from it. So this one's a bit tricky because um, we are going to have k is going to be in third form okay so i even find lines parallel to this and three units from it so i have a point in this line i'm just gonna say mm, i'm just gonna say x is zero right so when x is zero i have three times zero minus two y plus five equals zero minus two y is equal to minus five y is equal to five over Two. So my point on this line is 0, 5 over 2. So then my general equation of a parallel line is 3x minus 2y 
plus k equals zero. So now I'm fine. I need to find the distance between this point and this line, and I know the distance is equal to three. So let's solve it here. I have three is equal to three times zero minus two times five over two plus k. Uh, so the absolute value of all that all over the square root of three squared plus two squared. I have three is equal to minus five plus k all over the square root of nine plus four, which is 13. Multiply both sides by root 13. I'm gonna get three root 13 is equal to k minus five. Absolute value k minus five. So I'm gonna have k minus five is equal to positive three root 13 and k minus five is equal to minus three root 13. So k is equal to three root 13 plus five. K is equal to minus three root 13 plus five. So there's my two values of k and then the equation of the lines will be the equation of line one is going to be 3x minus 2y plus 3 root 13 plus 5 equals 0 and 3x minus 2y minus 3 root 13 plus 5 equals 0. There's my two equations of the line there. Then let's look at this final example here. So determine the equations of the lines that are parallel to 2x plus 5y minus 3 equals 0 and are 4 units away from it. So my general parallel line is going to be 2x plus 5y plus k equals 0. My distance is equal to 4. And a point on this line, I'm going to let x equal 0. So x equals 0, I'm going to get 0 plus 5y is equal to 3, y is equal to 3 fifths. So a point on this line is going to be 0, 3 fifths. So the distance between this point and this line is 4. So I have 4 is equal to 2, the absolute value of 2 times 0, plus 5 times 3 fifths, plus k, all over the square root of 2 squared plus 5 squared. 4 is going to equal to the absolute value of 3 plus k, all over square root 29 multiply both sides by root 29 4 root 29 is equal to 3 plus k therefore k is going to be equal to 4 root 29 minus 3 and minus 4 root 29 plus 3 I said minus 3 So there's my two values of k. So my lines for this are gonna be 2x plus 5y minus three. Oh, sorry. <clears> two <throat> x plus five y plus four root twenty-nine minus three and two x plus five y oh, minus 4 root 29 minus 3 equals 0. And these are equations of them two parallel lines. So them two exam them two questions are a bit um bit icky. You probably could have figured them out a bit better, but oopsie poopsies, oh well. Right. Um I hope this video somehow helped you guys and I'll catch you guys later. Bye. <laughs>